Greetings everyone and welcome back to Duck Place. Uh, we are on episode 5. In last episode we uh, did a little loot and made some cookies and read some books through a rainstorm. Triple X speed. Ah, the lights still work. And today we're back to uh, the question of what now. I think since we have the power of baking on our side and how much ingredient got used and all that. Does it show us? Where's the flour? Okay, so it didn't take a lot of flour to make... Yeah. So with the power of making cookies, as long as the power is on, we're probably going to be just fine for a while. Um, but I think... Where did I leave all the bags? I think all my spare bags are in the car. Um... Yeah, but I think maybe we will get uh, equipped for actual combat, as it were. Probably leave the bowl behind. Oh, something I should do before I leave the house. Since uh, assault on the stations is probably... It's the most likely thing we're going to do this episode that might result in death. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll just get the journal out of the way. Because we might, uh... We might die doing this. They're big buildings, uh, although they are on the edge of town. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Do I have a more lightweight back slot item around? Not really. It's all 2.0, 1.5. Okay. Let's unequip Mr. Crowbar. We'll show jam that in our backpack. Uh, and basically we need a shot. I believe we had. Now yep, we have that special 12. Or where's this? Oh right. I left it on the counter for myself. The arm cell weighs 4.3. Spaz 12 weighs 4.4. Okay, so we're gonna take the slightly lighter shot. Is that zip? Okay, the zip gun is a holster gun. We're not going to mess around with um, with 22 LR for this, though. Uh, that would be foolish. Oh, there's not a box of um, shotgun shells in our equipage. Oh, uh, what do we have for boxes of ammo, then? 44 mag. Five, five, six. Okay, uh, we can work with this. Put that back down. Jam the. Oh, it came out, but they won't go back in. Okay. Five ACP. I had a pile of of nine millimeter rounds that I put. Yeah, there. Just those. Panic attack. Okay, 308 win standard magazine, which we don't have. Mm-hmm. mag single stack. Huh. Okay, so we don't really have a whole lot of easy options here. Uh, we have 20 and 45 ACP rounds, though. And these 45, yeah, I think I was planning on using that at some point. And I guess now can be the time. Uh, yep. Alright. So that gives me about 100 shots. Uh, crowbar is turning out to be kind of heavy for this. What is that other pistol here? Okay, that's my 9mm pistol. That can stay. Uh, you'll note, leaves us with no back slot item, but that's okay. This is war. Uh, I think we want the heavier of the two guns first. Where'd it go? And up here? Okay. Man, that in there. Uh... This will be maybe a firefight. 
Maybe. But yeah, I was hoping I had shotgun shells so I could get some aiming EXP in. Uh, basically, with the shotgun, you shoot four shells, right? Or you shoot, you hit four targets per shell, I should say. that. Okay. Let me make sure. Oh yeah, we're recording. Uh, let me check my phone real quick. Sorry. Okay. We got ourselves the time. Sip of coffee. And we're off to the races. I should check the second story on that building sometime. Oh, all right. Today is light fog day, and the lights just cut out because uh, street lamps cut off at this time, I suppose. Oof, a bit of lag. That's what I get for not leaving the game paused while I was gone for a time. Uh, I'm going to read that. Markov and Co. Okay, I thought it said Brewer and Co., and I was hoping for alcohol. Fudgington's... Probably get some more baked goods from all that. Uh, the courthouse. And there's uh, there's a parking lot there and a parking lot by the police station and a parking lot by the fire station to the south. Uh, that all have. Oh, that guy's getting munched. Okay. But yeah, we can we can do a firefight in light fog. Um, okay, let's get our car orientated here. Okay. I just want to check, uh, grab that knife out, I said grab that knife out, thank you, so that we have all of our possible backup weapons, and we're going to begin by, by the control key not working again, okay. Oh. oh, that's something I, I want. Hat, can has hand axe? If I had to only have one weapon type available, it would probably be axes, um, just because you can also chop trees with them, and that's important to me. Man, this sorto strong. We're gonna we're gonna abuse this early Wakazashi until it dies. Um, no shame, no shame, no feelings of game balance on my part. Alright, check the bodies. Alright, greet the guests. Greet the next guests. Oh, man. So the thing I do want, oh, I want the leather jacket strips, but I guess we're not allowed to have nice things yet. We'll save the maple syrup for when we're a little more hungry. Okay. Okay, okay two leather jackets. So like I said, uh, I do want to make a second journal and see how that works mechanically. I've only ever owned one at a time before. Other strips are valuable enough that we actually want to keep all of them. So uh, that's in a bit better condition, so we'll jam it in our car. Alright, and I think our better bet is we're gonna go check the fire station first, or clear around the fire station first. Um, just because its layout is much safer than the police station. Hey you, what's up? You want to kill all the firefighter zombies uh, because they might have keys. It's as far zoomed out as we go. I do hope they fix this issue at the bottom where it kind of shows you the terrain still. That's That's in the base game. It's a base game issue. Okay, so I normally enter from here. Uh, you'll see why shortly. Oh, or it could be locked. That's also an option. 
peek in as best we can. Oh, nice. First try. Okay. Sometimes you have to do a bit of fighting right here, but make sure that's unlocked for future me. Check this body. Make sure he's dead. Okay, he's not with one. And then we poke around here. Pipe wrench we will want. Um, later. Later, though. I'll, I'll worry about water supply when the water actually shuts off. There's a propane tank in there. That's abnormal. We're just gonna set that out. Future me will see it. Okay. This room is normally the first room people try and visit. And yoink. That's why, guys. Axis. Axis is why. Okay. This way I can see how many axes there are. Uh, honestly, though, we, for the combat, for starters, we should continue burning through the world's supply of crowbars. I don't actually want to hoard all of those immediately, uh, simply because uh, if I die in the next few moments here, or when attempting the police station, I want to have those axes here for future me. So it's possible to spawn down here in Rosewood. But we're definitely going to unload all of that later, but we're going to begin by clearing the upper floor. Um, this is commonly regarded as the best starter base in the game. Make a little noise. We got beds. We got that one entrance in the form of uh, the stairwell. Is this the safest sleeping room? This area, not so much. That corner gentle lake, okay. And check these. Any noise that you make in game, zombies can hear. It's just uh, what we're doing. Oh, heard it, a new break. So we probably have a zombie that either just went out or just came in. And they'll be downstairs. So we have zero luck on um, backpacks there. This is our kitchen, which I won't worry about right now, just confirming there are no zombies home. I will check this bookshelf. Ooh, coffee. Okay, and there's just the pole. You cannot slide down the pole. If you make a mod that lets me slide down the pole, I will pay you a dollar. Okay, now we're going to finish clearing out the bottom half. So if you wall this off, and then wall and door here, that's how you make this into an excellent, most excellent base. So that's the conference room, which doesn't have much. There's our window break. So we'll come back to that door. Again, I'm not really even here for the loot. That's an in interior direction. But no zombies, so we'll just close that for now. I'm just here to make sure no one's home, basically. Okay, and that water cooler will be important to us in the future. I don't remember ever looking at these crates in the past. Could I... Right, I think all I'm missing is glue, and I could make a journal on the spot. Ooh, cigarettes. And scissors. Um, go ahead and grab a notebook, because I'm likely to find glue 
in one of these little office spots eventually. Wouldn't be long. Okay, so we know there's one zombie out, out there, because they went out, not come in. Let's just, we'll walk. Uh, and see that kind of obscures our vision, which is bad, so we gotta get to here. Okay, and that's probably our one window breaker. Um, let's go and take care of them. And see, that one if it spots us, we'll be pathing around. But let's go clean the backyard. Even though I'm kind of already settled in the pastor's house by the church. It's good to have this town... Oop, I misjudged distance, and that almost ended poorly. Oh, wood glue. Nice. Is that enough? Journal. Wood glue, yes. Uh, oh, my leather strips are in the car. That's all I need. Okay, sweet. Yeah, it's just, uh, and since I'm kind of burdened anyway, let's head back toward the car. Um. Yeah. Once again, I'll say it, Eagle Eye's super handy for my preferred play here. Take clean leather strips out. Put away some of that stuff. Don't know why I have three red pens. This hasn't turned into the gunfight I was expecting. Okay, there he is. Just like, where's my, my guest? But there he is. Also didn't expect this sword to have ooh, beef jerky, as much durability as it has turned out to have. So that's pretty neat. I'm tempted to even just... Oh, hi. Leave my uh, crowbar in the car here. So that's the, one of the main things weighing me. Oh, shit. Down. And you'll note I've left the area in front of the car quite clear. Um, that is just to make getting out a little less painful. Um, we're going to leave the 308. 380 pistol and the 380 rounds in the trunk here. We'll go ahead and do the journal thing. Okay, we have a journal now. Nice. Eat a little of our emergency ration. Really don't want that to turn into a double down arrow, but it might. I can leave the rest of the leather strips behind. Uh, and you know what? Quick, let's uh, let's lock ourselves in the car. And maybe while we're doing this, the fog will dissipate. Uh, you can't move while you're doing the journal mechanic, but you can hold control and do like this and look. You can also do this in a car in general to see what the heck's happening. You know. It's kind of maybe hard to tell. We have like a 270 degree arc vision cone while doing this. It's awesome. Yep. Probably just gonna carry this journal. Oh, it's heavy. But it'll probably be worth it to just carry it on me. It'll be really cool if I die to retrieve it from my body. Um, and since I will have it on me, it'll be easier to uh, keep it keep it up to date. Stories of our adventures, you know? Alright. Two, three, four, five. Hmm. I don't know if today is the day. I think we'll go in quiet for now. We'll sleep at the fire station today, tonight. Do some blasting tomorrow after I see what my four angel options are. We're just gonna do... Oh, okay. Fuck it. Okay, gotta wait. Gotta let him get closer. See the whites of his eyes. Shove. There we go. Those gunshots should get 
everyone coming our way. Only got the one magazine. That's okay. They coming? They coming. Alright. And that'll also help determine if there's any baddies inside. Let's check that corpse too. Rambit knife, nice. Cigarettes winning. Annotated map, don't care enough right now. Rambit knife. Uh, vehicle with a siren. Might do some magic with that later. Anything on this body? No, just a crap leather jacket. So them. We don't really need to worry about that. It's the nearby guys. Ooh, that was that swing would have hit maybe if this were a full-on katana, but it's this isn't the door I normally try and go in through. But. Okay, we're in. We're just gonna check some of the desks along the way uh, because of the probabilities of. Uh, matches, cigarettes, uh, and sometimes on a desk you'll find a key, which is the key to the whole building, armory included. Ah, uh, that. I need a leather strop. Yeah. Now, does that leather strop... Okay, nice. We can use that to repair our kitchen back home. Aviator glasses, don't mind if I do. Vitamins, top tier. Okay. Uh, Alright. Light? No, oh, that light is there. Okay, check water supply. We have water. Uh, first thing we're going to do is actually go toward the back. Yeah. Yeah, because of you. All because of you, ma'am. Got a key? No key. Got good boots. Uh, and a cool jacket. Okay, we'll hear the thump. Bathroom song. Damn it. Yep, right there. Might be two. Nope, just one. Ooh, gun. You got it. It's boss 15. Even better. So I try to leave guns out on the ground like this, uh, both to make them easier to spot and so that they don't despawn when the zombie inevitably despawns. And as I've said, we're collecting holsters. Okay, but this is one of the rooms I wanted to get into. Because we can get cool schmogs, which are totally worth wearing because they make you look awesome. Uh, I tend to collect all of them. Um, and we're also collecting belts for sword maintenance at this point. A police bag. So police bags uh, are not naturally occurring in the base game. Uh, but they seem to be a, um, yeah, arsenal gunfighters thing. And they just have stuff. Weapon. Bullet. Alright. Any shower zombies? No. Can we use these as water sources? No. So these type showers, uh, even in the base game, they don't work for water for whatever reason. So we're definitely uh, coming back to that. And uh, this is the only way in to here. So we could theoretically base in here, but the fire station is better. It just has... Here you'd have to move in amenities and stuff, but maybe if one of your buddies already took the fire station, you know. Give him a knock, make sure no one's home. Uh, Asp baton, blue scarf, nice. Other baton. Remember, I am actually, I am a carpenter, right? Yeah, so I actually do have a short blunt bonus making those batons. Um, used to, did I not bring a spare bag? Oh, derp. Derp duck on deck right here, guys. Okay, we're just going to end up being overburdened then, unless I look out on another duffel in here. Oh, got it. So we secondary that. And I mean, we're still going to be 
weighed down by loot. That's a good thing. We'll keep that Kermit as our backup, honestly. Wow. This drop's kind of heavy. Nope. Oh no, I lost it all. Oh man. Frustration. Okay. We'll just, we'll just go more carefully then. A little less efficient. There we go. Eh, shh, shh. Well, it's going to be okay. I don't know if you guys can hear my phone alarms, but that's what that was. Old matches. We can choose. Actually, we have that meat cleaver and the survival knife. We'll just... Okay, we don't need the wood glue anymore. Uh, vitamins, I never give up. I always carry all the vitamins at all times. Okay, those deets. Baton. And another police bag, which we will come back for. Okay. So yeah, you can in in with the uh, with the Brita's weapon pack, you can you can find uh, plenty of weapon just in the bathrooms here. But we're coming back those in and honestly I might end up using one of these police bags as my uh my backpack item going for do that uh we'll, we'll actually go back in here loot what's in this one yeah because there's not a lot uh, I believe 45 ACP is yeah that's the ammo type I use but uh, we'll put that in our person okay and then uh, we're just going to slide this puppy onto our back. Drop our school bag. And uh, load its contents into... Eh? Oh, this is the one on our back, the empty one. Okay. I was about to say, it should fit. It should be more space, not less. Ugh. You may have noticed that I passed up a military or a walkie-talkie. That's because it's not actually, uh, any better. Oh, I did, did I have a school bag on the ground? Okay. Put that in our backpack as well. Okay, we need to, uh, see what we can do here. Does it have space? It has a little bit of space. Just to be optimal in how much running around I'm doing. Put it down. Uh, oh, this is why I should have brought... So either you can crack these with a fire axe, or if you have the tools and some carpentry, you can dismantle them. I think you can also, like, uh, pick them up, maybe? I've seen people have them in their bases. We'll want that doorknob later. The downside to not having the key is you can't use these doors to defend yourself while you loot the armory. But since we uh, fired off a warning shot, it shouldn't be too big of a deal hammer back in our bag, heft our secondary, the one with the 45 ACP is our back slot one, okay, we're just going to load up that, that I said, load up that doorknob as well, there are a very limited number of doorknobs and door hinges in the game, because you have to disassemble doors to get them, uh, gun cleaning stuff, we like, So we'll actually place that on the ground and come to here and place this on the ground. Oh, and tired. Okay. A canister of 50 BMG. Okay. Um, we take those. There's some stuff we'll leave behind, like the gun customers. The guns are shiny enough. Um, survival rifle. Why is it a survival rifle? I don't understand. Um, it's arm 12 gauge sh cylinder. Okay. That sounds powerful. Um, we have, in the other place, we have most of the uh, guns I might want, right, in terms of ammo types. But what we're missing, we're short on, is magazines. Ooh, this bag is already full. All right. Uh... How's our supply of garbage bags looking? Poor. 
Uh, but there are specific guns that I have gained a liking for in other games that I'll be hunting for. Uh, you'll know when we find them. Uh, however, those guns are not here. So we're going to not drop our main bag, because that's always a bad idea, basically. We're going to carry out one bag to, to um, the front of the police station. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. All right. Oh, oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, I'd love to stay and talk, but I gotta go. Okay, so we have to uh, maybe do a little combat. I have to, I mean want to. So these boys... Oh, my control key didn't work again. Alright. I'm going to have guns and ammo. 6 2 2 6 It would, of course, be justice of a sort if I found the key uh, on one of these folks. Notebook. Okay. See for hat. Conspiracy theorist. That you got nothing. All right. Key. Probably the key we needed. Now we did the lunch. Key again. Alright, sure. Um Okay, I think that's it. So we'll come in and we'll scoop up that. Uh, and mainly we just care about the ammo and the magazines. So oh I said so I grab those. And if I were super invested, I would try and strip the magazines out of the guns, right? Uh, gun cleaning stuff as well. But this isn't going to be the last time we come here, probably. We'll probably come back in the future. Alright. Uh... Yeah. Because of all the openings, I was kind of like, oh god, I better get out. Because the zombies will stealth their way in now that the windows are broken and such. Okay. Not on the back. The primary hand. But you see why I kind of killed everything at the crossroads. Is it's going to let us leisurely, overburdenedly walk back. So yeah, that was a pretty tame fight compared to what I was expecting. I was expecting uh, like twice as many. Um, twice as many zombies. But, uh, yeah, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We've done well. Uh, will that fit in the trunk? Oh, okay, game. So we're, we're gonna, we're gonna have to, like, sort resort. Because we got, we got so much junk. Uh, as expected, as hoped for, of course. Okay, truck full. Okay. Does this have bullets in it? Yes, okay. So we're just going to pop in, uh, and that's going to be our glove box gun, for now. And sure, with some WD-40 on the side. Um, this stuff I wanted to... Mm, okay, well we can fit one box. Put bolster in there, why not? Okay. Uh, so this bag... Your right seat, good spot for it. The rest of these bullets, some of it will fit in the seat. Good. Um, yeah, and then we'll just drop that there. And then we really need to go see about eating and sleeping. Huh. If your tiredness little gets much worse than this, you'll actually start uh, losing noticeable move speed. We've probably already lost a little fragment of move speed. 
but not enough uh, for it to be a big problem. And we almost went through all of our water on this mission. Uh, as you may have guessed, we're also coming up on the close of this episode. It's been about enough time that I should uh, at least take a break before carrying on. All right. But yeah, we got a bag upgrade. It's a duffel bag, which is good. And uh, yeah, we've secured both the fire station and the police station. Do I have a notebook, uh, like writing one on my person? No. All right. Oh, we might do that before we... Ah! Rice. Oh, right. There might be a cooking pot among these. Oh, a can opener. Gold. Gold. Okay. That's good. Um, oh, and a car key. Yep, that can happen. Car keys can appear. All right. Uh, so yeah, there's some things. There's like these saucepans. Good to know they're there. Uh, there's probably nothing in the fridge. We might look out and find like a pickle one of these times, but it's like a uh, baking tray, baking tray. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna Let's see. We can we can get a little more fancy here. We'll grab. Oh, both. Okay, sure. Both. Thanks, game. So everything. This one. Not the other. Oh, no, no bad. Okay, and uh, yeah, we have some rice. So we'll put the rice in the pan. Uh, and then we have all this other stuff. We can put in the corned beef. Yeah, doing real cooking now. Continue to add the corned beef because beef for us. We have these condiments here. We're gonna use them. Drop that marinara. Drop that salt. Salt. Oh, just drop that tin can. I'm only worried about cleanliness as it relates to wherever I choose to actually live long term, which thus far is none of these places. We'll take the smug. Fill. Turn that on, and I know what I want from here is coffee. We will not uh, be drinking the coffee because character needs to sleep. Coffee. And uh, no sugar around or anything. That's cooking. Cook that up. Uh, maybe we haul this coffee around? That's what I would do in real life, probably, is haul the coffee around, but... Okay, so that concludes that bit of snack. And that. Uh, and I think, because there is no backpack in this space, we'll leave that there for future me, or maybe we'll take it with us later, I, I don't know. Uh, we're, we're just going to eat like a quarter of this. We're still losing weight. That's a problem. Okay, we need to uh, have, have some more. We're still hungry. 1.4. Yep, it's, uh, it's a heavy world. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and have all of it. Alright, and we have this garbage bag. I'll need those. You, you see what we're doing. Anything that looks like it might be terribly relevant is going to go in this bag. Why the garbage bag instead of the school bag? The garbage bag actually holds more. Uh, it just has more stats for carrying. Oh, and that wasn't actually a lot of stuff, was it? All right. We'll drop our saucepan of water in there as well. Uh, and from there, we'll just pop. And because who knows what tomorrow holds. We're here. We're tired. But we can still cook, you know. So yeah, you can make uh, rice like this in a saucepan. Um, that's, that's something, at least. Huh. Uh, 
Oh, I need all that cooks we can. Uh, scrub some units of dirt off of our person. But yeah, um, firehouse, great base if you want to live in Rosewood long term. I don't, I don't know what we're doing yet, so we're just gonna hang out at Pastor House. I actually prefer uh, the more compact kind of bases, at least for now. I would say I've got plans, but I don't got plans. Oh, so we'll have that marinara rice uh, for future us. Let's jam those down in our bag. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to carry the coffee everywhere. And we got some other odds and ends that could probably go in there. I don't need to carry a ton of thread. Or this many pairs of scissors. I'm not playing like a tailor run, so I don't need to... Okay, and a real quick, a tailor run would be me uh, ripping up every bit of zombie that we find, all their clothes, and uh, using them for patches to level tailoring. Which results in very high armor values very quickly, but it's not what we're here for. Will that solve my overburdened issue? No. No. Okay. That's our best bet. Then all the coffee weighs one unit of weight. That's brutal. We'll put it all away. Should keep. Alright. Well, it was a pretty pretty tame little raid. Um, but I think we have now officially hit all of the... Uh, like, there are still many residential places that could be considered points of interest. Um, but we've done, all, we've done a lot, and I'm alive. So, all is well. We'll go ahead and finish off the episode by writing down the tales of our adventures in case things go poorly later. But I think we go back to our chosen home and we unload stuff. Um, in the longer term, I probably should try and find a generator or two and like stockpile some gas. Uh, or I could just load up my truck and we could uh, go to another town. Um, I don't know yet. Maybe I should check the shopping strip just to see what we might find. Uh, I don't know. That is all a question for future me, and uh, that'll be future me's problem in next episode. So, uh, I will catch you all later, and bye-bye for now.